Hello, let's do some uh, muscle release for the calves. So if you have the chance, join me on uh, Zoom as well. So far I have Hoy here with me, right? So what I'm gonna show to you is how to release, oh, I see someone else getting in, how to release the calf muscles. So what happens? The calves tend to get super tight and we barely give time to take care of it, right? So it's probably gonna hurt. Let me see who is in here. Huh, Christina, nice to see you. Wow, nice. You? How you doing? I'm doing all right, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, so glad to see you. We gotta nice. schedule that uh, workshop with the voice, huh? the breathing and the voice. Huh. <laughs> I already called you out like that, right? <laughs> Sorry, that's so rude. Um, so do you have a lacrosse ball or foam roller with you? I have a foam roller and I have, um, I mean, I have a massage ball, I have a tennis ball, I have a soft, oh. I have some things. Okay, so the softer the ball is, is less intense, right? The hardest the ball is, is more intense. But I'm gonna show you, ooh, who joined there now? Maya, how are you, Maya? Good, good. So, so nice I to don't have a foam roller, but I finally got a yoga mat now. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. That's <laughs> a good start. I have a ball. Okay, good. What kind of ball do you have? The, the, the kind of the cross one. The lacrosse one? Kind of, let me just get it. Haha, -ha. so lacrosse ball is, is painful because it's harder, right? But just gotta find something you can work yeah, with. But now for the ball, you need kind of like a thick book or a, or a yoga block or something, right? Because if the ball stays on the floor, you don't feel much. So higher the leg is, more intense the release is. So see if you can get like a thick book or I don't know, just something higher that you can level, put your leg up, right? Yeah. Good. And then I'm gonna, so as we have... Hoy is with a golf ball. Christina yes. has a massage ball, but you have a tennis ball as well, right? Christina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. Introduce me to yeah, you. See what is the ball. see what you can work. Huh? What happened, Hoy? Someone introduced me to use the laundry ball. Laun laundry ball? Oh, laundry yeah. ball. It's like a tennis ball, right? Laundry ball softer than the golf ball. Oh. So, okay, so there are people that use the melt system, right? The melt system is with very soft balls. I kind of like hardcore. I like that really release really deep inside of the muscle where I can really feel it. But this is me. Some people like a little bit softer, men in general. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway, <laughs> so what are we going to do with the ball? Let's start with the ball and let's start with the right side. And always just like trying to understand the difference one side to the other. That's all. So if you can lift your leg up, right, and put the ball right on top of the book or whatever you found there. And then at first, just try to adjust in a comfortable position. And then you're going to put, uh, you're going to start rolling. Let's start in the middle of the calf, right in the middle of the lower leg. Then you're just gonna start rolling your leg side to side over the ball slowly. And feel free to tell me, talk to me. Because now it's like the calf muscle, you have uh, some underneath, but you have the big one that is like right and left side. And they get together all these muscles uh, in the back of the ankle here. So it's easy to try to, what you want to do is trap the muscle between the ball and the bone. So it's easy to feel that that really super tight line like escapes. So just try to roll the lower leg side to side over the ball, trying to find that angle where you feel the tenderness. And then when you find it, try to relax. And then you're going to bring your toes up and down. Inhale towards you exhale away from you so sometimes at first you might not feel much just because it's so tight for such a long time but if you keep trying to breathe and relax you're gonna feel the lacrosse ball or whatever ball you have going deeper in the muscle anyone here doesn't feel anything so far i definitely feel a lot you feel like oh i like it you feel a lot that's how i like it so after you bring it the, the toes like you come up the toes then it's very pain if what what did you say i mean come up then 
is very painful. Ah, yeah, with the toes up. Yes, because then you're lengthening the calf muscle. So it's like if you yes. have high heels, right? You kind of have your toes pointing away. So if you wear high heels, this tends to be very, very, very tight. But when you push through the heel, then the calf muscle lengthens. So that's when you really feel uh, how painful it is because then the muscle is exposed. So now let's try to keep the pressure on the ball and you're gonna do four rotations to one side. It's kind of like drawing a, a circle with your toes. My coordination for that is like zero. And then reverse, trying to keep the pressure on that spot. And then after you've done that, you're just gonna go side to side again. But this time I want you to find that side on side position that where it's kind of the most tender and then you're gonna turn your toes outward and you're gonna feel that it's gonna hit the line in a different angle, right? So turn your toes outward. Once you turn it outward, push through your heel, start like scrubbing your lower leg over the ball again, breathing. Very important to take some nice belly breath so you stay more connected with the muscle and, and with your body and you feel it better. So let's find that spot again, right? And then bring your toes towards you and away from you. Towards you and away. Remember, there's so many joints at the foot. We just don't feel much like that anymore because we have shoes all the time. Just try to feel your body. And then four circles to one direction slowly. And to the other direction. Very good, all right. All good so far. And now let's turn the toes inward. And roll the ball around again and see if you find a different angle on that area or in a different area that you wanna work with. No worries because it's still gonna go a little bit higher and lower. trying to relax so in the bottom the lower leg are two bones two long not very long but long kind of thin bones so like put your hand there feel where is muscle where is bone if you can relax it a little bit more right your body's gonna show to you it just feels like it's a rock a solid rock <laughs> i feel at least i don't know how you feel with that any feedback so far I don't hear anyone screaming. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> Nobody's cursing. What are we doing here? <laughs> no, all good. But it's not too much. May I ask a question? Uh, it's not Is too it much. Hold on. If it's not too much. Because it's too tight, then I use the um, cramp. Say it again. Why? What did you say? Cramps. I cramped always. Uh huh. Told me because the muscle too tight. Uh huh. Is it right? Well, there is a bunch of things that I I have read about cramps, but I do think there is a highly connection with the muscle being tight all the time, and it's so short and inflamed all the time. And again, like something triggers and it gets tighter for some reason. Uh, I think there is a connection with the breath, the fact that we don't breathe very well and that, uh, that oxygen flow or the blood flow doesn't get to that muscle quite often. Uh, uh, but anyway, yes, I think there is a big connection between the muscle being tight all the time and cramp. I do think so. And I think you're going to have cramp on those muscles that are already very, very, very tight in your body. So this helps, this definitely helps. This doesn't do damage, no, this. So with this, we are bringing blood flow to the muscle, right? This helps with healing and reducing the inflammation. And uh, this helps you understand, make that better connection between the brain and the muscle, how you can, when it's tight and when it's relaxed. You just can get caught with that muscle being tight for a long time and all the time, you don't even realize how tight that muscle is anymore. So there is a bunch of things besides helping with releasing the toxins and releasing the tension and all of that. So this helps for sure. This helps for sure. So now if this doesn't hurt enough on you, right? Option two is you put the other leg on top of it and you roll it around like that. 
Ooh. Let me know, Maya, if it's not painful enough for you, I'm gonna go after. Okay. I, I don't need the extra leg on top. Uh -huh. I thought you said that wasn't painful. Wow, I found a spot here that is killing me. Wow, one leg on top of the other is definitely. But again, it has to be some kind of tenderness, pain, that you are able to relax with it. Because even though if it's not too much pain, and you're there like, oh, this is so painful, oh my God, get me get out of here, whatever. You, you, you just get caught feeling the tension and you don't allow the muscle to relax. And the same thing is with the stretching. You can do the stretching and be like, oh, this is so painful, this, this is awful, this is so tight, and you just let go instead of trying to breathe and relax. Yes. Anyway. Now let's try to bring, we are gonna move to the other leg and on you know, this leg up and down. I just now want you to explore the really inner part of your calf. Just go very close. We are not on the front, on, on the shin hurts a lot. I'm gonna schedule another day just for the shin, but not in front of the shin on the side and you start going up and down and feel how that area, uh, how do you feel that area? If it's tight or not tight at all, this has to do a lot with the fact if you pronate or supinate your foot, right? Because if you're here all the time, you put a lot of pressure on the inner part of your lower leg. So just now go very much to the side, that right inner, inner lower leg, and then go up and down, feeling how tender is that area. Zero to 10 being 10, the most painful. painful. Anyone wants to give me a feedback? Hey. <laughs> well, but you're a dancer your whole life, right? I think all of people that dance oh. suffer a lot on the ankles, no? On the calves. Yeah. Yeah. That's not our case, right, Maya? <laughs> <laughs> no. Can you dance, Maya? I'm not very good at dancing. <laughs> I like it, though. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm not very good on dancing, but I like it. When I'm drunk, I like it. You've seen me dance at your birthday. Huh? At, at, at your birthday party at the bar, we were dancing to the live music. Yes, we were dancing and I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go now to the lateral part of the calf, all the way to the side. Wow, good time, good times in Maya when the bars were open and we used to go out to dance and drink. <laughs> I hope this doesn't stay in a very distant, distant, distant past. Yeah. Yeah. Side to side on the ladder of the calf now, right? And then if you find a little bit of tenderness, just try to relax your foot, move up and down this time, side to side, right? Your inner, inner foot comes towards your pelvic floor, away from, from the pelvic floor, like a pronation and supination and keep looking for the spot if you find any spot around this area now there is a big connection of the tfl it band but this time they run not much on the calf i believe so i understand so they come a little bit more towards shin and front but i really want to work on that on another day because that's really really important anyway all right we got this a little bit Let's go to the middle of the calf and up and down again, just to see. And uh, there's one more detail. If you lift your butt off the floor as well, it gives more pressure at the lacrosse ball, similar to the, to the tennis, to the, when you, you use the foam roller for the hamstrings and thighs, all of that. Now, let's go behind the ankle, all the way in the tendon here. Oh, my nice socks, right here where your Achilles tendon runs. Just gonna bring it there. You can feel free to put one leg on top of the other if you can balance the ball there. And then you're gonna bring your toes close to you and away from you. Close to you. And just even if it doesn't hurt, just find a spot where you can balance your leg on top of the ball, trapping the band. And then just breathe and relax. Try to allow the lacrosse ball to sink inside of that tendon. Keep your knees lightly bent a little bit, then move your toes away from you towards you. 
try to go a little bit higher there on the tendon. Now I wish I could balance here, but it's really hard to balance on this side. I'm very tight on this side. And let's switch to the other side. So zero to 10, something around eight or something. That's it. Nothing very light and easy. No, good. All right, <laughs> let's go to the middle. Left, left, left calf now, right? Right in the middle of the calf. And you're gonna move your lower leg side to side again, trying to feel a line of tension. But then you go slowly until you can trap those muscles against the bone. And then breathe, inhale, exhale. Inhale, tall, toes towards you. Exhale, move it away from you. Look to your feet, see if you're like pushing it straight forward and straight back like he would be stepping on the floor. Or if that range of motion is a little bit compromised, like you're pronating or supinating on that foot up and down. And not judging and trying to be perfect, just seeing what's going on with your, with your foot there, with your foot mechanics. Then once you went up, up and down, just big circles to one direction. Very fluid. And to the other direction. Christina, I really liked what I saw on the, the workshop you did with, uh, that you showed me that the thing about the body moving in circles. Oh yeah? Oh yes. I did that. <laughs> I'm gonna try to think like that when I move my, my body, but. <laughs> It's not easy and it's so gracious, so nice to see. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you gotta think, Maya. <laughs> we. <laughs> now, if you got that right, feel free to move now your toes a little bit outward and see if you find a different angle around that area that you work or if you were, or you wanna move a little bit more to the lateral or medium. Then once you get that tender spot, breathe. Try to see if you can fully relax your foot, all those joints there. And then start moving your toes up and down towards you, away from you. Wow. Anyone here work on heels? Do you work on heels, uh, Maya? No, only, no. only Uh-huh. Oh, that's but good. Not every day at all. Oh. Do you work on heels, Christina? <laughs> My feet are so messed up. I, there's no way I'd be able to do that. I, <laughs> I struggle to find shoes I can wear all day. <laughs> Pretty much wow. always in, like, Doc Martens. Oh, gosh. So I, have, I have bunions and stuff and then dancer feet on top of it. So. Oh. Oh. Yeah. My ex-roommate, she had bunions. It she she would cry because of it. It was really painful. I uh, and let's go now with the toes inward. Hoy, you don't. Hoy, do you work, Hoy? Uh, no. Good for you. I'm a volunteer teacher. You're what? A volunteer teacher? Yes. Oh, On nice. Saturday, so that right now, no more teach because the school closed. Not even online. Correct. Oh, okay. So school will be closing the whole master. Uh huh. Oh. They say so. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, I heard my son uh, school. Uh, I heard that they are planning to close until September. Yeah. Yeah. So now let's go. I'm teaching all four of my classes fully online. Oh, okay. That's good, Christina. Yeah. You you got everything online now. Yeah. They're, and they're even they're scheduling this mostly online next some next fall just in case. Wow, let's bring now the the, the ball towards yeah. the inner How do you part. Do the, the examinations. Huh? The examinations, teacher. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. um, it's I mean I, I teach it's it's interesting I teach speech and theater and things that you're you know should be physically there, I, they just record them. They record them and post the link and 
Um, I teach mostly, pro I'm, I'm not a big exam person. I, I do, I do project-based work mostly. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how I teach. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit. So it's more a practical tough transition. application, less memorization and regurgitation. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That sounds good. Uh, uh, it's a tough transition. It's not easy, especially like you're dealing with the body and emotions, right? I think so. You can correct me. I mean, time. fortunately, I was trained to teach online several years ago, so I've done it before and I've been doing it. So I'm uh, kind of have figured out some things. Uh -huh. So it wasn't a com completely new. Uh huh. Good. We are in the yeah, inner part. Hard. We are in the inner part of the calves now. Just find that, right, that area. Once you find the area and these muscles, they might try to escape. Just try to trap against the ball and feel free to go up and down on the lower leg. Yeah, I think anything you have done in the past, even if it's exercising your career, eating habits, anything you have done in the past, if you failed or not, right it's such a good learning it's something that you can uh you can continue from right it's not something completely new so it's so good you already had that experience now that you're more comfortable doing this online do you feel comfortable now teaching online christina yeah. yes mm -hmm. yeah okay good and, it, and it's gonna make sure i get work next semester oh <laughs> that's more important yeah yeah <laughs> yeah 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 i kind of like i think i was thinking about this in the past someone would say let's do online and i was trying to come up with an online program and i was like oh i hate computers i don't don't want to do it but you know i think because of necessity right now really necessity i really feel i need to get here on zoom or on the facebook i need to socialize i need to work out and it's kind of like you know it, it's much better than nothing for sure yeah. I hope you girls feel like that. All right, after we work here, this inner part, and I'm going to show that. We're going to stretch, and I'm just going to show about the foot position, what I'm talking about, supination and pronation. And then now all the way to the outside of the calf, right, lateral of the lower leg. When you get there, move your foot up and down, breathing, relaxing, trying to relax all the area, moving your foot like all those joints are independent from each other. I think it's like a hundred. I don't know how many joints in the foot. Don't ask me anything about memorizing. I don't remember anything. I'm awful there. Shame on me. But I know some names, I guess. Once you go to the side and you found that line of tenderness, feel free to go up and down. Right? Scrub your lower leg against the ball. I do like the ball. I think the ball is more precise than the roller, even though the roller you can kind of like balance better and put one leg on top of each other. But when we do... Maya, you don't have a foam roller? No. Mm. Yeah. It would be good for your shin. Yeah. But uh, we will do that with the ball. But I think this is going to give you a little bit of relief as well. And then Whenever you're ready, feel free to put the leg over the other for a little bit, just to <laughs> feel a little bit more pain. This is just helps like the most tenderness you can get to, but as long as you relax with it, the release it tends to be more efficient. And one, wow, this hurts like crazy. And then whenever you're ready, let's go to the Achilles tendon and just bring in your toes up and down up and down Sorry. big circle I've actually, I've actually been more sore in that area around the achilles than i usually have do you think it's because i do all the exercise barefoot and usually i wear shoes say it again where where are you tender right here where we are uh, around the achilles around the achilles but more inner part or outside Say. Medial? Huh? Where did you say more to the inside or outside? I'm not sure. More inside. like it's more here or more here? Or just oh, in the back? Okay. In the back. Uh-huh. Both sides or just one side? Both both sides. Both sides. Okay, so 
like barefoot i really like the fact that you can work out barefoot because the body uh we have the arch and i'm going to start talking about that feel free to release a little bit more but we are going to stretch soon so we have the arch here right this yeah. is uh like uh something that propels you up and down it's like all oh, your body mechanics like if you have a good arch and you know how to use that you're gonna jump higher you're gonna run faster like there is this big differential with the feet and uh, how much uh, power it gives to your body. But the thing is, as we use shoes a lot, right? And most of them have cushioning. We don't exercise this much anymore. And, um, and because of sitting down many hours and all of that, you can start collapsing the arch. And I think maybe you can see that, that where people say flat feet, when they don't have the arch anymore, it's just like collapsing in. It looks like your foot is flat instead of having a nice arch so like and some people them are super or pronate or they supinate right roll the feet out all the time or roll the feet in all the time i truly believe that comes to the hips imbalances of the hips for example if the tfl is tight there is a long line that comes on this ladder of the quads keeps coming down i believe goes through the front of the shin and attaches right here on your foot here on the front that's why kind of like it's easy to turn the foot this way because all this line is tight or if it's because of this there is another line of tension here right so all of that so to make a long story short there are things that get your ankles tighter for example if you're squatting and you're not paying attention and this like it's happening when you're squatting it's like for sure this is gonna be overworking a lot and sustaining all your body weight, right? So that has to do a lot with that. To know precisely about you, Maya, I would need to see you doing some exercises, but there are some it's things that might I'm be like happening. Jumping jacks. Huh? It's more when I'm jumping, like jumping jacks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know, it might be as you don't have the shoes now, might be because now you're using different muscles of your body to stay to keep your feet stable right or or you feel indentation it's not just because you use the lacrosse ball now you feel that it's getting tighter now uh no i also felt it during the exercise yeah uh-huh hmm. but i think probably it's just because i'm not wearing shoes uh-huh well you gotta see if you start feeling some kind of uh joint pain then you're gonna have to address or just keep an eye now Maya when you're doing stuff keep an eye on your feet positioning right if you're landing a little bit of weird I don't know if you're moving through heels and toes I don't know you're gonna have to stop and, and see what's going on there yeah. but you're good on the other injury that you had right uh, the other injury uh, it's not it's still here I don't know what to do about it <laughs> the other day it came back just by walking uh-huh oh wow well that's not good no. so let's do like this now let's just stretch a little bit so a nice calf stretch and simple is you're gonna stand and you're gonna place your feet trying to find the arch so the way your foot should be the stand is like a triangle it's here to here right this is how your body your foot should be stable not much weight in one side or the other with a nice arch so i do want you to try to just like step and feel that triangle that base right once you get to the base we are going to do the typical anterior anterior fold right you're going to go down with slowly upper body over lower body some people like send the hips all the way back and they stretch the knees back, banana knees. So try to keep your knees soft and bring your hips right on top of your heels, lengthen your butt all the way up. If you can't touch the floor, feel free to touch the couch or something. And then breathe and feel the lengthening happening from heel to the butt. And I don't like to isolate stretches because it's all connected. And in this position, you're able to feel now how much calves or how much hamstrings do you feel with this stretch, right? So let's take some nice belly breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Try to lengthen your legs a little bit more. Tall from pelvic floor. 
look into your foot position to not be pronating or supinating. Just a strong base through the arch. And now you're gonna bend your right knee and you're gonna lengthen the left leg a little bit more. So the left side of your butt's going higher, but it's still there is balance between the body weight at your left foot, not shifting everything to the toes, not even to the heels, just finding a nice, well distributed weight over. Don't push your knee too much, no problem, it's very soft, bless you. And now, oh, that's a dog. Bend your left knee and lengthen the right. Going all the way up if you can. Inhale, exhale, keep lengthening all the way up. Wow, it's going so what's going on there? <laughs> and all the way up, both legs, both, both butt, both sides of the butt. Good, now let's bring it down. And you're gonna place your right foot down now, left knee down. Keeping your right foot in a nice position and with the arch, you're gonna push your knee towards the toes, keeping your heel on the ground. So you're gonna feel the lengthening now at calves and at the same time, shin has to relax as well. And then sit back and try to keep the toes on the ground, lengthening the front now because it's all connected front and back. One more time to the front. Straight knee towards the toes. Spreading your toes over the floor and back. Is everybody good? All good? Torture is gone? Uh -huh. And let's switch sides. So now left foot, nice arch. Spread your toes over the floor if you can. Heel on the ground, then push your knee forward towards the toes. Try to breathe. Keep feeling where can you relax at the foot and lower leg, and then bring it back. And try to find a nice alignment between knee and toes again. There's some weird. And forward one more time. Nice arch. And back. Toes stay there. Keep trying to lengthen all this part here. This probably is good for you, Maya. Very good, just to finish now, very simple as usual, just gonna bring your, bend your left knee, and then you're gonna bring the right leg straight. Nice socks, I would say, right? And then look to your foot, and you're gonna bring your foot inner part inward, outward, inward, outward. Now, straight, how would be the base as a triangle? Try to bring not just the toes towards you, but the ball of your feet, the balls here. Try to bring that towards you. Keep your knees soft. Don't overextend it. Inhale. Exhale, breathe and feel where is the tension. Is that the calf or not anymore? Is it more the inner part of your lower leg or the outside? What is locking you? How can you improve that position? Breathe in. Breathe out, keep bringing your abs closer to your thigh, pulling the balls of your feet away from the heel. You can feel like you're pushing through your heel for a more intense stretch. And now push the balls of the feet away if you can. Nice stretching here. On me here is so clear how this side, where is the connection of the TFL I said before, it's locked, like I can't get further. It's like, uh, grabbing for it, it's life. Just gotta work more on that. And now let's switch sides. Right knee bends. 
go if you cannot grab the foot bend the knee a little bit and try to grab behind the ball of your feet right and then you're gonna bring inner inner parts towards you away from you towards you away keep it nice that nice triangle base and pull the balls of your feet towards you you can push through the heel inhale exhale relax the left leg inhale exhale don't overextend behind your knee just keep it soft and relax twice more and one more and now if you can push the top of your foot away from you breathe in breathe out inhale exhale yes this is it this is a nice sequence for you to go as often as you can right it's really important so today you probably learn a little bit about the tightness you have on the calves and the spots that hurt the most do it but don't do it like ah oh, i gotta do it i don't know if you got a little time and you're hanging out drinking wine talking to someone or watching tv watching i don't know anything working you know get there put the ball just a little bit higher than your hips level and do whatever you have to do and, and work with the release is something that is going to keep you connected it's going to make you work a little bit on breathing because you need to relax where the tenderness is it's going to catch you keep you present with the present mind instead instead of just stressing with everything right so it's a good habit that you can add there is other ways to release uh lower legs and i'm gonna put on the schedule i do want to work on this line of the tfl shin and this line here i do want to work it's just gonna hurt a lot and I do want to work on stepping on the ball as well because it's another thing that's going to release big time the, the tension. And it's a line of tension. It's not only this muscle. It's releasing a whole line of tension that you can feel on your whole body afterwards. So I'm going to hang up here on Facebook. Thank you for being there. Oh, Geraldine. Wow. Yeah.